So I wanted to show you how I make these trim tools you might have seen. Uh, they're made out of old hacksaw blades and a uh, real simple tool. And sometimes you assume we've all sa seen the same things and uh, but perhaps you haven't and don't know how to do it. So you want to start with an old hacksaw blade. really doesn't matter. This happens to be high speed steel but you'll see they tend to not bend very happily. You can usually bend them back and forth until failure. Come on. There you go. So, two tools. Now, you can leave the teeth on. Actually, I've gotten into the habit of leaving the teeth on the back of the tool because it's actually really handy when the pot is too dry to be able to really cut away the material. But you can make them in different shapes with different with different ends. These of these kind of left hand twist, right hand twist tools that I, I made them in the beginning. I didn't care for them. I really like this shape. I use this one. I use this one all the time. Uh, and the angle to the left matters. Having it going the other way, as you'll see, uh, it just doesn't work uh, for a right-handed thrower. But I like putting rounds on the end. If you need to come in and you know hold it real tight and put a round groove in something. So okay, great. You broke the blade. Now what? Well, take it over to a bench grinder, uh, even a Dremel tool, and you see I just ground it back and I put a bevel on it. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to bend it in such a way that the that the pre-ground bevel is going to be on the outside. It's going to be easier to sand if your bevel is on the outside. going to hold it up in the vise. Almost the higher the better. I don't want the vise to suck the heat in and we're going to heat it up here and bend it over. Okay, so this is a two-handed operation. You can quench it or you can let it air cool. I don't think it makes a difference. But there you go. Obviously the paint gets all burnt up. I'll take a wire wheel to that real quick. And that'll be a really useful tool. So I just wanted to point out that now this was the original tool that I showed you and it has a fairly sharp radius and this one has a more of a more of an open radius and actually that is nice so if you like doing really fine work or roughing I like them a little bit tighter but having a nice radius also means you can as you're trimming you don't really have kind of a real sharp ending to your cut line uh, so just know that radius does make a difference so the two main ways I use this tool is uh, primarily on the trim process, uh, which is what I made the tool for originally. But as well, I find I use it to right before I wire off anything I'm throwing on the wheel, I use that angled point to come in and uh, cut a little groove and separate some of the clay around the foot of the pot and then uh, bring the tool in from the side and gather that up. And I do that before I wire it off. Okay, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment. See you next time.